Hey everyone, welcome to another video. We're leaving for a trip tomorrow morning. It's gotten pretty late on us. Uh, we've been working for the past two days to get the boat ready, to get the van ready, to get packed up, and also to get ready to leave Blue Moon for a significant amount of time, uh, more than we would usually like to leave her for, so we want to make sure she's all set up. We're Jillian and Jonas, and after living aboard our 30-foot sailboat for over a year, we've decided to hit the road and travel across the country in our newly built van. Like and subscribe to follow along as we drive from coast to coast. A couple days ago, we pulled out the dinghy <laughs> um, and got quite the surprise. Yeah, we hauled up the dinghy. It was covered in a smorgasbord. <laughs> of sea creatures and different things. Pretty cool. It very, was very cool. Very fishy. We scraped it off. Yeah. Sort of a sad day for all those mussels and things. Yeah, I always feel bad for them getting scraped away from their home. If anybody knows what the different creatures are, I would be very interested. There yeah. were some orange stringy ones that looked like a whole bunch of eggs. There were some clear ones <laughs> that looked like little jube jubes. <laughs> mussels, I think. Lots yeah. of little things, some worms that were coming out. Anyway, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was very cool. We got the engine back on its stand. Uh, we remembered to run it dry this year, so before we took the engine out of the water, we disconnected the gas and ran the engine essentially until it ran out of gas. Because last spring, or this spring I guess, uh, we had some trouble starting it, and so we remembered that this time, which I was really excited about. Yeah, if you don't burn up the gas, the fuel that's left in the lines, it gets all gunky. I'm trying to unlock the engine button. I can't remember the code. <laughs> and I put, I put the lock on backwards. You can't remember the code? I, there's a couple potential options, which I'm going to try. It looks like some sort of a strange insect. <laughs> Okay, it's not attempt number one. It's a sad day when the dinghy gets taken out for the winter. <laughs> sad day because we have to lift the outboard off. <laughs> Get our clothes all greasy. Is it easier to have it down or up? Down, I think. Can't have the engine falling to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it'll help us lift it too. Yeah. Well, dinghy looks naked without her motor. And she has a new coat. A new coat is in a new coat of muscles. <laughs> Ready to start scrubbing? Yeah, my favorite project. <laughs> Yeah. Look at this thing. What is that creature? Are those eggs? Oh my goodness. We left this way too long. Who would have thought? This is like summer growth. Look at, look at that worm coming out of there. I feel like it's parts of the Caribbean when uh, when uh, the flying Dutchman comes out of the water.
food buffet in there. <laughs> oh, I am glad it's coming off so easy. Yeah, at least the top layer is. Ready? Plunk her in. Well, we are disturbing the home of a lot of little creatures right now. Poor guys. We put up the tarp that should keep the rain off the most leaky parts of the boat while we're gone. Tied it nice and tight. I guess we'll want this to go over on this. Over top. We got the dinghy all cleaned up. It's now on the bow, put away. We put a cover on it so it'll stay nice and protected, tied it down. Sort of the same deal as last year, what we did. Our neighbors very nicely lent us this camera and we're gonna check our zincs and just check the bottom of the boat um, because we haven't done that in a while and this is way easier than hauling out <laughs> so yeah hopefully everything's good and I've got this huge leash tied to me because I don't want to lose their camera <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful um, but yeah so hopefully all is well down there And just the everyday things that we do before leaving the boat. If you can't tell, it's really late. <laughs> yeah, it's super late right now. We've been very busy trying to get ready to leave. Yeah, we've been going nonstop, really. Uh, today, we packed up the van. We packed up our stuff. We sort of reorganized the boat, what we wanted to keep on the boat, what we were taking off. I don't know how deep I need to go, right? That looks pretty good. Jillian's been trying to sprout avocados since I met her. And one finally went when I literally neglected it all summer. Um, but since we're leaving, I don't want to leave it in the cold boat, so I'm going to give it to Andrew and Kiana. So, big responsibility, you two. You don't know you're getting it yet, but <laughs> I'm hoping you'll take it. <laughs> Look at that! So to commemorate the beginning of our drive across Canada, we are going to hop in the Pacific Ocean and then we'll hop in the Atlantic when we get there. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, <laughs> sort of. We gotta put that into there. <laughs> I 
and figure out what to do with all of this. We ended up getting these little bins for our clothes and they just fit in the cubbies underneath the bed. Um, and yeah, they work well. Nice. We weren't sure what we were really gonna do with them, uh, we, but we decided to leave them open because of this. And uh, yeah, it should keep the clothes nice and clean. Nice. First things in the van. <laughs> We're packed. That was easy. Can I see? You got some room, room to spare. spare. I was worried we wouldn't have enough room, but we actually have like more room than necessary. <laughs> well, it's ready for the morning. Bins are going up in the morning. Up on the roof. Up on the roof. And then it's all ready for a grand adventure. There's a banana there. Ugh. Gross. Not for much. Don't litter, please. We're really excited to finally hit the road. We had such a quick turnaround back on the boat. I'm kind of sad to be leaving, but also really excited to be heading out. We're gonna get some sleep before a very, very early morning tomorrow. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and we can't wait to share our trip with you. Good morning. Good morning. Time to go. It's time to go.